Hey everyone, Jack here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have my daughter, Kyla, going to be with us today. Uh, we have done a series of different type of tests with EV as far as range is concerned the past couple of months. We did an aero test, the difference from 75 to 85 miles an hour. Uh, we have described, talked about the, how the weather, the cold temperature affects the battery on all EVs. But there's one topic we have not covered, but I have mentioned them many times in the past, which is elevation. How much elevation impacts the range on the EV. Kyla, any idea what I'm talking about? Are we just going to go up? Uh, mm -hmm. The elevation going up and down, depending on your destination, affects your range dramatically. Like yeah. your car, your Mach-E right now, is supposed to get 240 miles on the full charge, well, right? It goes like 180. Well, that's because it's the winter time. But here's another surprise, especially for you. We'll be heading back to Tucson in a little bit, and eventually you're going to have to drive back from Tucson to Vegas, correct? Yeah. So. That, this, that range, there's about 150 miles between each charging stations, okay? Going downwards, I'm not concerned whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But when you come back, especially on your own, you'll be going up in elevation. So if your car says 160 miles in range, guess what? No bueno. Or is that why going back from Tucson to Vegas, you said it's going to be hard? Yes, it is. I am very concerned because that first leg from Tucson to Phoenix is about 150, 60 miles. I'm not too concerned about that. But from Phoenix to Kingman, if you're going uphill at, um, I think, 190 miles in range, okay? So that's going to be a big concern. So today we're going to start this test by, what? why don't we take my Maki GT and go on the test. We're going to go from the f furthest west point in Las Vegas. Uh, which is off of Summerlin Parkway and Far Hill off the freeway. We should be at about 3,200 feet, and we're going to travel eastwards about 22 to 25 miles down to the lowest point in the valley, which is in Henderson, I believe, Sunset and 95. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. That should be a 22 to 25 mile commute. We're going to go down one direction, and then we're going to do the exact same path coming backwards. And now we're going up in elevation. Let's see how much energy is used going down and coming back up. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. All right, stay tuned. So for this elevation test, we're going to be going from 31 to 3,200 feet in elevation on the most western part of Las Vegas. And then we're going to be traveling eastbound about 22 to 24 miles of range and distance down to about 17, 1,800 feet. So for the test, we're going to be using a 2022 Mach-E GT Performance with dual four high performance motors and let's see where we end up we're going to check state of charge the car is starting off at 90 percent state of charge so we're going to see what the state of charge is going backwards as well as downwards and how much miles we get per kilowatt hour let's get started okay let's start this journey we are approximately 3,176 feet in elevation right now. This is pretty much the highest elevation on the west side of Las Vegas. That's why I picked this location. As soon as we get on the freeway, once coast is clear, I'm gonna set the cruise control at 75 miles an hour. We're gonna travel approximately 20 miles downwards in elevation to Henderson, to the lowest peak of Henderson, which is sunset exit. Right now, I'm not gonna reset. Once we get to 75 miles an hour, cruise control is on, we, I will hit reset. And then we're gonna check this number right here, how many miles per kilowatt hour that this car used going downwards in elevation. And then we're gonna do the same thing back on the return trip. This will give us an idea how much energy difference is used going downwards versus upwards in elevation. So we're gonna keep at the same speed, maybe just in case there's traffic, you know what, I'm gonna set the cruise at 65 instead. So I got the cruise control on, four blue cruise on. All right, it's set at 65. I am gonna reset the trip right now and I will come back once we hit our destination. And the elevation has already started dropping. We started at about 3,100 feet. Now we're at 2,800. Let's go back to the trip. I mean, right now it's already showing a significant amount of difference. We're only using one kilowatt for every 4.8 miles that we travel so far. So by my prediction, we should keep it about that stat all the way down to sunset. OK, 
Okay, we're now approaching our destination. Sunset is about two miles away. We've gone 22 miles. We so far used up 4.4 miles for every kilowatt. It's a little bit less than I anticipated. I expected. Elevation is. Now we're down to 1,720, uh, about 1,700 feet. So as soon as we exit sunset, we're gonna camp, we're gonna log the trip, and then I'm just gonna basically take the return lane coming the other way so it's the exact same path and route and elevation that we took going down as long as we maintain a decent speed between 50 to 70 miles an hour i think we're good we're going to have a pretty good indicator of how much energy this ev uses going down versus going upwards and there's sunset row exit i am now going to turn off blue cruise went 24 miles 24.1 we used up 4.4 miles for every kilowatt and we are at elevation of 1719 feet so let's just say 1700 feet we started at 32 we dropped about 1500 feet in elevation and we used up 4.4 miles for every kilowatt all right that's the official log now we're gonna get back on the freeway going the other way and I'll set the cruise control again at 65 miles an hour and let's see how we do going backwards. My prediction is going to be roughly about 2, maybe 2.2. What do you guys think? I think 2.2. One more thing I want to note, actually it just changed. Uh, we started this journey at 90% at state of charge. Now we're down between 83 to 84. All right, we're back on the freeway. Set the blue cruise and cruise control at 65 miles an hour. And let's reset the trip and let's begin. All right, we're now in the middle of downtown Las Vegas. So far, so good as expected. Now we're down to 51 miles an hour. I turn off the cruise control because uh, we got a little bit of traffic buildup. We're at 10 miles into the journey, about 10.5 actually. And now went down a little bit at 2.8 miles per kilowatt. Let's see where the elevation is at now. We're exactly at 2,034 feet. We are gonna be going up about 1,200 feet in elevation. This is where the energy is gonna start getting sucked up quite a bit. All right, set the cruise back on. Cruise activated. We got about another 10 miles to go. So far, so good. Actually, did better than I thought. But this last bit, the five miles, is going to be a real sharp climb. We're still only at about 2,400 feet. What's interesting is we got five miles to go. We came down roughly six and a half, seven percent state of charge used. Now going back up, we already used up, if we start at 84, we already used up 8% state of charge, and we still got about five miles to go. So it'll be very interesting to see where I still think my number is gonna be pretty accurate. Now we're really climbing. We're at 2448, 2451, 54, 57. It's all uphill from here. This is where the pop power really gets sucked up in this 5200 pound Mach-E. 75%, we used up 9% so far. Oh, watch the roll. This camera right here is monitoring your eyes. 2530, let's check the energy. All right, it dropped a little bit more. Now we're at 2.5, we're at 26. I could hear the engine going. Engine, actually, my bad, sorry. Motor going. I could hear going down was very, very quiet. You hardly use any power whatsoever. But going up, you could hear the motor just whining. Got a lot of cruise control problems just doing this test, but I'll save that for another time. We're at 
73% state of charge. So far, Lobo over 10% being used up. Going down was six and a half to seven. All right, we're at 3,000 feet. 31 almost. 3,100 feet. Let's go a little bit more and we'll check the amount of power used per kilowatt hour. And this test was successful. Very, very nice. So we used up going back up in elevation 1,500 feet or so, 2.3 miles for every kilowatt. And going down, we used up 4.4 miles for every kilowatt hour. That's almost double, well, about 80% more difference. So as soon as I stop, we'll sit down and do some calculation real quick to get a more exact number. That's actually pretty frightening. Basically, this car come equipped with a 93 kilowatt hour battery pack and EPA range states 260 miles. That's based on the flat elevation surface. If I'm going up in elevation, I'm talking, I'm gonna guess, I might only get 60% of that 260 miles. See the difference? That concludes our test for elevation test. 1500 feet, we used up in this Mach-E GT Performance with twin high performance motors, roughly 5,200 pounds. Going down about 21 miles in distance, we used up 4.4 miles for every kilowatt hour. But coming up the exact same route, exact same distance, same temperature, same road condition, we used up 2.3 miles for every kilowatt hour of battery. So that's nearly double the difference. So keep that in mind when you guys plan your long distance trips, you know, local trips, not a big deal. You get to charge and plug every day, but elevation makes a huge difference when you're taking the road trip you don't last thing you want is if you're going up a thousand feet or so and you have to stretch 200 miles and you only have 210 miles of range best to find charging station in between do not stretch it but if you're going down the elevation shouldn't be a problem hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it please hit like and subscribe and please comment to see what else other tests you guys would like to see next this is jack with this and that auto review See you guys next time.